And the reason I'm making this video is because I was trying to get some Moab gameplay. Mother of all bombs. But, um, unfortunately, uh, the friggin' PlayStation Network is, uh, down again. I think it's just because they're, like, fixing something. But you know what? I'm tired of it. And I don't even know why I'm making this video or playing. I don't know. Because, you know, I, maybe it's just I'm done with this PlayStation crap. And I'm also done with this making the video crap. And I don't even know why I'm doing this. Maybe it's just PlayStation Network's down and I'm bored. And watching other videos inspire me to make other videos. And I just basically want to tell you guys what's going on. And I'm going to try to do that within 15 minutes. Because I only have 15 minutes. And, uh... That's the whole reason why I didn't do the Moab gameplay is because PlayStation Network's down. Speaking of watching other people make videos, is um, White Boy Seventh Street. Um, his videos are awesome. He's PlayStation. Speaking of PlayStation, and speaking of him, if some of you watch his videos. You know, all he does is his life is playing Modern Warfare Three because he wants to be the number one source, and I think he actually succeeded at that because. Um, if you don't know him and you watch Modern Warfare 3 videos somewhere else, then you should probably go and check him out because, uh, he's pretty good. But I wonder what he's doing right now because, uh, <laughs> he's only been playing multiplayer. That's all he does. And, uh, with no PlayStation Network, um, for at least until 10 at night, uh, that's what I heard. Probably not until tomorrow. I wonder what he's gonna do. Um, and I'm tired of it because in every single... The PlayStation Network is like crap because it just always the servers are down. When the map packs come out, it takes like an hour to just get into the PlayStation Store. Then once you're in, it takes an hour to like click on the map pack and so much lagging and it's just it's messed up. And uh, I think I deserve we deserve better than that. And um, it also. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 has been lagging a lot, and it's not me. It's like the whole match would be lagging, and everyone has a bad connection. So there's like, even the host has a bad connection. Just everyone's red bar and stuff. I was like, what the hell is this? So, yeah. Now I'm going to, besides coming up with problems, I'm just going to start talking. Uh, I, I actually recently bought Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, Grand Theft Auto IV, and just been playing all of them because they're fun. Uh, the battle campaign mode is, like, getting really good in every game now. I mean, it's a hard comparison between Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. So, um, I'll, I'll tell you what it's like. I don't want to give them away, but in, in Modern Warfare 3, y you know how in every, like, game, there's always, like, a cool part where you, like, zip line down a hill or climb into a building? Well, in Modern Warfare 3, there's something like that in every single level. And I like how there's there's flashbacks to levels in Modern Warfare 2 and you play someone else in that level that was in Modern Warfare 2 but you're in the same exact level and I think that's pretty cool. But Battlefield 3, the ending is just so amazing. It's so unexpected and when I, when I say so unexpected, it's not an unexpected where you're like, oh, it's probably just some dumb game that never happened before it's an unexpected ending that i would have never that it's a whole different campaign and you should definitely buy it if you never heard of the battlefield series it's really if you play a uh, call of duty it'll, it'll be a big big uh exp i don't know um i don't know excitement for you and yeah so uh now i'm just doing some live gameplay on um well, not live, but live commentary, I should say, which I really never do, and I just wanted to try it, and I i don't even know why I'm making a video. I'm done with this, because I'm, I'm just bored, but you know what? I was bored, and um, just wanted to see how it goes. Speaking of survival mode, I think uh, if you ever had Modern Warfare 2, and you beat the campaign and you have the museum at the end and you press that button and then juggernauts and everyone comes to life. I'm pretty sure that was like a test for survival mode and stuff. So, um, I, I don't know. It was pretty cool. Um, and everyone saying that Ghost didn't die, uh, because he only got shot in the shoulder by Shepard and, and, uh, 
you get shot on the shoulder by Shepard, and then you get poured the gasoline on you, and then, uh, then you, um, but if you pay attention, only you get poured with gasoline, not Ghost, and I don't know where they were trying to go with that. But I love the ending for Modern Warfare 3. I mean, it's just Makarov, he's a terrorist, and if you watch, like, a flashback, he's, like, millions of souls released just by the press of a button, and he, like, nukes a country. And I'm like, who does he think he is? He thinks killing people are good. Well, who does he think he is? He can just go kill millions of souls, any terrorist. I mean, come on, killing millions of people and then you not wanting to die? Like, it's okay to kill millions of people, but you can't die? I mean, because Makarov's always running. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? That's just, like, effing dumb. Fucking dumb. I mean, so I was just pissed off at um Makarov. And I can tell you... uh. Once you beat the uh, the Modern Warfare 3 campaign, I'm trying not to give it away, but once you beat it, uh, crap, I kind of paid too much attention to talking to you guys, and I didn't even buy a gun yet. But once you beat the Modern Warfare 3 campaign, I can tell, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I can tell you that you are going to uh, get your... Uh, you are uh, just going to let all your anger out on Makarov, and I'm kind of happy now that I beat it. And unfortunately, the PlayStation Network went down like two minutes after I beat the campaign, so I'm pretty upset. I should have played multiplayer and then uh, played campaign when PlayStation Network's down. So, yeah, that's luck for you. PlayStation luck. But, um... I'm going to try to stick to this game mode now because of if I talk about other stuff I'm kind of distracted and realize I didn't buy a, any gun for my pistol until like wave 6 already. Alright, I'm going to start doing my strategy. Um, My strategy is actually pretty easy. I'm going to have to head over here though. And uh, I'm just telling you, I'm like, who does a terrorist think he is? Uh, it just pisses me off. Think he is, he can just go around killing people and believe in that's what he does. Killing people is good. And then it's just, he doesn't want to die. I mean, he thinks it's good for millions of people to die, but he can't. I mean, it's just dumb. I don't get it at all. Like, they're like messed up in the head. And I know everyone knows that, but it's just... Like, oh my god, terrorists. Of course. Right when I'm talking about them. I just gotta get over to my spot. Can't walk through there. Place this down for now. It's always good to buy the Riot Delta team thing. and This is not normally where I put this uh, sentry gun. I just gotta wait for my Delta team to come in. I move it down here. Just move it right there. And uh, I don't don't ask me why I didn't buy the uh, other kind of sentry gun. I just I don't know. I like the uh, the remote one better, just for some odd reason. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to cut this short because uh, I don't know. I can't do 15 over 15 minute videos yet. And it's just, I can't do over 15 minute videos yet, so, <laughs> I'm not going to show you the rest of this gameplay, I'm just going to, I just want to do this to, I don't know, talk, get my uh, anger out, I don't know, but, uh, hmm. let's see, assault rifles, AK-74, guess ACOG, Refilling ammo. That's good enough. Readying up. Survival mode, I don't know. Like it better than zombies. It's, they're two different things. You can't really like one better than the other. Black Ops was just... I think Black Ops was trying to be something other than Call of Duty. Like Modern Warfare 2, you can't put your clan tags on... Or emblems and clan tags on the gun. You can't even customize your own clan tag. And I kind of like that better. I mean, I don't think it was... I think it's, it's definitely a better thing. But it wasn't meant for... 
Call of Duty. It just... It wasn't supposed to be that way. And Black Ops just tried to create a whole currency system. I think they tried to change it into a new game and it didn't work. Because Black Ops was definitely not as good as uh, any of the other Call of Duties. I mean, yeah, zombie maps and stuff were cool because that's all they... It's all the same zombie maps. They bought zombies back, but they can do that in any game. And basically, the the I don't know. It didn't excite me as much as Modern Warfare 2. But that might just be because uh, my first Modern Warfare 2, game, my first Call of Duty was World at War, and that didn't have. I don't know if Modern Warfare 1 had all, all that care package and stuff. But uh, so I ran out of ammo on my first match, and uh, a care package fell with ammo, and I was like, when you run out of ammo. They drop you more ammo, because that's what I thought, but it was really just some guy next to me that called in a care package, and he, uh, it wound up being an ammo crate, and I, even after I found that out, like, a minute later, I thought it was still pretty cool that, uh, that you can get care packages, and I didn't even know there were helicopters in there, and, uh, you can get, uh, all the cool stuff, and it was just, I, I liked it so much. How there was spec ops. The campaign was awesome. Uh, no. Trying to kill my, uh, my guy without a ride shield. Who doesn't have a ride shield anymore? I'm really upset right now because I really was looking forward to playing multiplayer. And now that I don't have multiplayer anymore I'm just kind of pissed off I have a feeling this is gonna be jarring can I like team please kill him thank you I do like how there's a money system in a uh, survival mode um speaking of this uh I don't know alright predator missiles are definitely the way to go to uh, kill juggernauts unless you want them to kill your whole squad don't shoot the helicopter when it's dropping a juggernaut off. I say just shoot this and then shoot it. And somehow, the ultimate juggernaut did not die. Crap. This is so not... This is screwed up. That was screwed up. But, uh, speaking of White Boy 7th Street, uh, he's seen his video. Apparently, you can kill two juggernauts by just having a, uh, care package fall on them which is kinda weird and somehow my whole squad just died from that uh, I probably killed them with my uh... with my <laughs> predator missile I uh, almost switched the wrong gun there I like the magnum I mean not the magnum the desert the deagle whatever it's called and, um, a lot of my friends say that they don't, they only like Modern Warfare 3 for its, uh, they don't, they don't like the multiplayer in Modern Warfare 3, they only like special ops and survival and stuff, and I agree, I don't agree with them, but I understand why they're thinking that, because it just gets really frustrating, because I was getting really close to mobs and, Moab, sorry, I get, can't get used to saying that, because White Boy 7 Street calls it a mob. And I always watch his awesome videos and stuff because he's really cool. But, uh, so they always, I was trying to get a Moab once and I got like 40 seconds left. But, uh, trying to get a Moab and I was so close for like four matches and then like eight matches went by without me getting one kill streak and I just got so frustrated. I was ready to just like break the game in half and I just, I understand multiplayer gets really frustrating and stuff, but, um, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, they incorporated your Black Ops, Modern Warfare 1, World at War, Modern Warfare 2 prestiges and stuff into it. And I think once you get to be good at it and stuff, you'll um, start to like it. But uh, it is frustrating and stuff. But that's all I got to say, guys, because I can't upload more than 15-minute videos. So I'm going to end this game with a bang. Oh, I'm back up. Tricked ya.